Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we are going to read a very important chapter from the Bible. As we read from the King James Version Bible, Matthew chapter 6. Yes, Matthew chapter 6. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Lead us and guide us and bless this reading and speak to us and use us for your service. Amen. As we read Matthew chapter 6 from the New Testament, here it says, Charitable Deeds. Take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them. Otherwise, you have no reward from your Father in heaven. Therefore, when you do a charitable deed, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may have glory from men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you do a charitable deed, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your charitable deed may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will himself reward your you openly prayer as we see in verse 5 and when you pray you shall not be like the hypocrites for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the corners of the streets that they may be seen by men assuredly i say to you they have their reward verse we read in 6 but you when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and you, your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you openly. Verse 7. But when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathen do for they think that they are they will be heard for their many words verse 8 therefore do not be like them for your father knows the things which you have need of before you ask him in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if you forgive men, they are trespasses. Your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, then their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Fasting. Verse 16. Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you that they have their reward. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and also wash your face, so that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly wealth as we see in verse 19 do not lay up for yourself
treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Verse 24. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and man. Was, as we see, you cannot serve God and mammon. Verse 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and body, more than clothing? Verse 26. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Yes. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Yes. Are you not of more value than they? Verse 27. Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field. How they grow, they neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For all these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Amen. Here ends the Bible reading and a very beautiful guidance and mighty word of God as we again have read the prayer as the Lord's Prayer and also the guidance for the wealth, the treasures in heaven, yes, and also to serve the Lord, yes. As we see the various guidance that we had over here about fasting also, yes, every guidance Every kind of the questions that we have is being answered as we read the Bible. Yes, beloved, the Bible is the manna to our soul. It is the roadmap of life. Yes, for our every question, we will find the answer. Whether it is your personal question, whether it is your general question, whether it is the question of business or home or your personal relationship, Everything is being answered in the Bible, yes, for it is the word which is spirit, which is life. John 6 verse 63 and also the word is fire and hammer which will break the rock into pieces. Jeremiah 23 verse 29, yes beloved and the fear of the Lord is the key for our everything, yes beloved. As we read in Jeremiah Yes, the words are true. Yes, the word is speaking also in Isaiah 33 verse 6. 
Yes, beloved, let us fear the Lord, keep his commandments, walk in his way and obey him. That is what God, our living God, requires from you and me as we read in Deuteronomy, we read in chapter 10. Yes, beloved, the word is saying and also in 12 verse 6. Everything is at hand. We have to take out at least half an hour, read the Bible and pray. For when we pray, we are speaking to God. And when we read the Bible, God is speaking to us. He will speak for our every questions that we have. He will answer us, beloved. The words are true. He is a living God, God of the living, not the dead, and all live to him, as we read in Luke 20, verse 38. Yes, for the words are true. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The words are true. Psalm 23, verse 1. As we wake up in the morning, we see the birds faithfully they are chirping and praising the Lord. We are much more than that, isn't it? So let us also praise Him in the morning. Let us thank Him, thank Him for His faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. Psalm 92, verse 2. He will answer our every prayer. He will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us and watch over us. He will never leave us nor forsake us, beloved. Yes, the words are true. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Every word in the Bible is living, for the word is living as we read in Revelation 19. And what is the word? The word is Jesus Christ. Yes, beloved, Revelation 19. He is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. And to him belongs all power and authority, as we read in Matthew chapter 28. Yes, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded from his mouth. The words are true, beloved. Yes, as we read in Matthew 4.4. 4. Yes, beloved, for yes, he is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hebrews, we read in chapter 13, verse 8. Yes, heavens and earth shall pass away, but his words will not pass away. Matthew 24.35. This is the good news. That is the Bible. Yes, when we read the news, sometimes it is fearful. Sometimes it is full of uncertainty. Sometimes it is full of discouragement. But the Bible, it is the good news. Yes, good news for you and me. Yes, uh, every question has been answered as we go in the presence of Lord Jesus Christ. Let us submit ourselves to him. Let us surrender ourselves to him. Yes, he will carry us. The words are true as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 1. He has carried us and he will carry us. The words are true, Isaiah 46 verse 4. He will carry us even in our grey hair and old age. Yes, we worry about the future. What is the future? What is the things going to happen in our life? Who will take care of us? Who will be there with us tomorrow? Yes, for the word says, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Enough are the cares of the day. As we read in Matthew 6, verse 34. And Matthew 6, 28 says, Why take ye thought? The words are true, beloved. Yes, for from the beginning he knows the end. As we read in Isaiah 46, verse 10. Yes, let us meditate on the word of God. For when we meditate on the word of God, we will have wealth and richness in a house. Psalm 112, verse 3. The words are true. Yes, for he is a living God and he will not leave us as orphans. The words are true. John 14 verse 18. For he is the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6. Yes, beloved. Everything we, what we require. Yes, go in his presence boldly and ask him. For the word says to you and to me. Zechariah 1 verse 3. Malachi chapter 3. It says, return to me and I will return to you. Yes, a living God will provide all our needs. He is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide. Yes, He is a Yahweh Shamma, Yahweh Al Shaddai, Yahweh Roi, Yahweh Rafeka, Eishunsi, Eishu Masiha, Aleka Malekim. He is a Yeshua Sarah Shalom, Yeshu Tizit Kenu, Yeshu Tazarusi. He is the mighty God. Yes, beloved. And He will never leave us nor forsake us. Yes. He is a mighty God, beloved. Yes, and also the word says in Psalm 121, 
I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps his rail will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is a keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Hallelujah. Yes, he takes care of us, beloved. He will lead us, guide us and help us. A mighty God is he. Psalm 32, verse 8. Yes, and the counsel of the Lord stands forever and his plans to all generations. As we read in Psalm 33, verse 11. Yes, there will be showers of blessing in your house and my house. The words are true, beloved, as we read in Ezekiel, yes, 34 verse 26. Yes, and also there are myriads of angels surrounding you and me. Remember that as we read in Psalm 91 and also, yes, in Psalm 68 verse 18. So let us bless his name for he daily loads us with benefits. Psalm 68 verse 19, for his name is Yah. Psalm 68 verse 4, and he will set the bound into prosperity, and he will also set the solitary in families. Yes, he is a mighty God, beloved. He is the father of the fatherless and the defender of the widows. Remember this word. Yes, and do not give up in life. Do not quit in life. Yes, he will take care of us. He will help us and be our Emmanuel. He is our Emmanuel, God with us. He is Ebenezer, beloved. God will help us. Yes. So, we encourage today and every day, my dear sister, my dear brother, also those who are in the sick bed, right now we pray for them. Father, you heal them in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. For the word says, ask and you shall receive. Matthew 7 verse 8. Give healing to my brother, to my sister. Yes. And all the children and the all the people need the healing. Be healed right now. For with the wounds and the stripes that he suffered for us, you heal us. Isaiah 53, verse 5. Yes, bless each one of us abundantly, Father, because you are a loving Father. Yes, as we read, yes, we are your clay and you are a potter. Isaiah 64, verse 8. Yes, and be with us. Yes, help us to walk in thy way and to keep your laws, precepts and commands. For it is the first commandment, as we read in Luke 10, 25 to 27. And we have to love our neighbor, the second commandment. Help us to do it, Father. Help us to keep all your laws, precepts and commands, as we read in Deuteronomy 5, verse 15. And also, yes, 5, chapter of Deuteronomy. Yes, help us to keep the Ten Commandments and all the laws, precepts and commands that you have told us, help us. Yes, thy word says, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise God in heaven. Pour your Holy Spirit abundantly on us, as you forgive us of all our sins. Yes, for the Holy Spirit you have given us, which will be a guide, which will help us to discern the right and the wrong, and help us to hear your voice. Yes, help us to read the Bible and also to grow in thee. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. This prayer we ask in name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, Father. Thank you for answering our prayer. Yes. So, beloved, be encouraged. Do not be discouraged. As the word says, behave courageously. 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 19, verse 11. And 1 Chronicles 14, 10 says, seek the counsel of the Lord. The words are true. Always seek his counsel. That is possible when we read the Bible. Yes, the perfect answer you will get as you read the Bible. And the word says, only believe. Mark 5 verse 36. The words are very simple but very powerful. Yes, we have to believe in a living God. He will carry us. He will take care of us and be victorious today as the victory rests with the mighty God. Proverbs 21 verse 31. And we rebuke every satanic power to live in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Let the prisoners say, yes, the word is coming to them. Yes, the word says, set forth yourself. Yes, 
as we read in Isaiah 49 verse 9. And for those who are in darkness, the word is saying, yes, go and show forth yourself. Yes, the word says, show forth. Yes, for Jesus Christ is there with us. Yes, do not be afraid of any man's presence. Deuteronomy 1 verse 17. So be encouraged. Yes, and the blessings for this year, the prophecy is true and it will be there till the end with us as it says in Deuteronomy 29 verse 11. It says God is saying to you and to me, I know your thoughts. I have plans of future, hope, prosperity, peace and welfare for you and me. Hallelujah. The words are true, beloved. Yes. So let us seize the day and be victorious in life. Yes. And also God bless you. Numbers chapter 6 verse 24 to 27. Yes. Do like and subscribe the channel Arise and Shine Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel as God has called me. Yes. To be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here in his service. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24. Yes. Verse 15. Hallelujah. Also for all your prayer requests, send us email on the email ID which is given in the description. And for all those who wish to pay the tithes or the free will offering, thanks offering, you can send it on the link which is given in the description. Yes, God bless you. Number 6, verse 24 to 27. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.